Hello. I have 10 minutes to do a video. Don't mind the ceiling. It's been that way forever. <laughs> but anyway, there's nothing on my phone except a few pictures. It doesn't seem like it should, uh, you know, take up that much space. But uh, I, I, I got all excited because um, there's this lady on YouTube, Mississippi Talker. And uh, she mentioned me and it's so cool and everything she talks about is, is really awesome because it, man, it hits home. And I had to hurry up and come on here and I was already feeling like doing a video earlier. I forgot to say hi to you. Thank you for watching. I know I'm in that case, but uh, I'm, I'm having a beer. But uh. There's so many things that I want to talk about. Now I'm peed off because I only got 10 minutes. So, um, I've been sick. And, um, for all of you who know me, we have an autistic son. And it's been hard forever. And I, and I always tell people. And, um, sure, some things have gotten better and some things have gotten worse. Um, his behaviors are a little less, you know, knock on wood, but, um, Like right now, I'm supposed to be working. I, I do this online thing, and uh, better be careful, you know, what I say on here because my brother. I know he's watching me. But anyway, I'm supposed to be working, and I'm not. I was, but I'm slow at it, and um. When I was listening to Mississippi Talker talk, she mentions how, see I'm getting all tongue-tied and I don't know what I was going to say, but there's so much that happens and, and she was mentioning, you know, like losing things a lot and, and like triggers and um, not having a vehicle and her air don't work, her air conditioning and... Um, how she goes on Facebook and how it affects her and stuff. And that was really the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about because a lot of people, um, like I haven't really been on Facebook in a year. And before that, you know, it might've been six months and here and there I might put a post or, or see a few things. But, but every time I go on, I just get upset because, um, I'm not jealous, but, but, but I don't have the things that people have. And, I really don't think I ever will unless some big, huge thing happens out of nowhere. You know, I, I don't see myself ever having a new fridge or, you know, a new car or new clothes. Oh, my God. These clothes are so old. This is like a sweatshirt that was somebody else's that I've had for like, shit, 12 years? No, 10. 2010. Hold on. Nine. That's nine years. If you see behind me, that's all I own right there on a rack, which is nothing. So, I mean, and it's in here. Because uh, when you have autistic kid and you have lots going on in your life and one thing after another, that adds up. I, I have the depression for my mom dying, but the problem is I had all kinds of other stuff before that. And every little thing that happens just adds up more and more and more. And Mississippi was talking about like going away and, and, and taking time off and getting some help in this. And then she also mentioned people with addictions and how these places really kind of focus on the addictions and the stuff like that, which how she said she believes the addictions are because of trauma and stuff and you covering up. And I, I totally agree with her. I, I just had to hurry up and jump on and do this video because I mean, everything she says is like, wow, this is, this is really, really, really true. I mean, it's so true, Mississippi. Look, as I smoke and I'm having a beer, I don't even give a shit because I, I I had a job for 10 years and, and I couldn't drink. I had to deliver and I, I couldn't do anything. Before that, I never could drink because my son was autistic and he still is and he's 21. So, I mean, the last time I really ever really, really drank was when I was... Whew, had him when I was 24. So, maybe like in my 20s, like young, young. And then I could never do anything. Then my life all stopped. I wasn't able to do anything and... People get down on you for drinking beer and smoking and they, 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 they say all kinds of shit and, yep, swearing. 
But anyway, um, it does hurt going on Facebook. And that's what I wanted to say was, that's why I can't go on there much. Because, like, I'm a really sensitive person. I never really wanted to, to, to think that I was or... Um, I always thought it was bad to be sensitive. Um, my dad made me think that. Um, you're too sensitive. You know, quit acting like a baby. He would say, girls don't cry. I mean, all kinds of stupid shit. It was all wrong. It wasn't true. But when that stuff gets built in your brain for so long and forever and ever, you start believing it. I mean, he had this, um, there was this book the other day a guy mentioned persuasive persuasive something that's how my dad it, my dad did it in like a silent persuasive um he wouldn't just come straight out a lot of people think trump's doing that which sometimes he is but that's um how when you're using it in a good way it's good but you're using it in a bad way to make people feel like shit like my dad did it's bad that's bad <laughs> it's bad Screw off. My dad didn't do it to, to help me or make me feel any better. The only thing he ever did was make me feel worse. He didn't give a care. You know, so anyway, that's why I don't go on Facebook much. Because when I see all the things that people have and eat and do, and I'm real sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for them. I am. But when you've always had a life the way it is and everything else... People will say, oh, because I'm lazy and I don't work and I don't do this and that. Whatever. They work hard for their things. Yeah, so do I. I work hard and can't have the things because I have autism in the family to where I have to do that. So my job is a job that I do not get paid for. And I never will get paid for it. And that's one thing they should change. Because I'm a mother who has to stay at home, which I didn't. I had a route that I would do forever and everything. Finally, thank God that's gone because of my... Every car I own got wrecked from it. One even went on fucking fire. That was my dad's fault, though. Yep, I'm blaming. Putting the blame game. But he he deserves the blame that I give him. So I don't go on Facebook much. And here I am back to the subject for the fifth time. Because my brain is all rattled. And I'm hyper. I'm supposed to be working. Hey, look. I got to list this stuff. <laughs> and there's 42... And I have 15 done in an hour and a half or two because I'm slow at it because I'm detailed and I'm precise and all this shit. And I wish I could be one of those people who just didn't care and just list it and do and who cares about detail and everything else. But I'm a highly sensitive person and I, I like detail. My dad always told me I put too much detail. He would say too much detail is not good. And okay, only part of what he says is true. And the other part he can shove because it's it's not all true. Because there's a lot of things you need detail for or else you're the one getting screwed because you don't have the detail. So, But anyway, that's why I'm not on Facebook much anymore. And But what's really cool is we have this Schmuel group now going on on Facebook. So that that's really cool with people singing. And I love it when Mississippi uh, lets us uh, do the ones we've never saying before i love that the best <laughs> i love that stuff you can make it your own and everything but i'm running out of minutes here but so when you don't see me on facebook for a while and then i might come on facebook it's because like i go through things to where if a lot's going on in my life and i can't handle something it's very very hard then to handle facebook you know so that's really hard for me and um, and then let alone, like when my family was on Facebook and things would happen and uh, they would start their shit. Like, for instance, my brother telling me I have a piano that's worth 5000 It's actually right here, but I got shit all over it. So it was $200 uh, in 1996. And the leg's broken and everything else. And I just want to tell you that there's people out there that will lie. I got a minute left. I got to end this, but uh, that's why I'm not on Facebook much, but I'm going to try to do it more because each day goes by. We do get stronger. We know how to handle it. And I just want to tell you, thanks for watching. I'll probably do another video because I got to go erase this and upload it before I do the next. Have a great day. Thank you. Love you. Bye.